Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Tuesday today. Uh, real quick update uh, to the guys that were in the break Sunday night. <coughs> if I've got your address, I should have your cards going out today if I haven't already sent them out. I will email you a tracking number. Um, just yesterday, the post office was completely busy, and if you've seen the upload yesterday, my wife was I was at the track with my wife for a test session. So that went really well, but today is flea market finds and mail day and a TTM. So let's start off with a TTM. This one come from the Greensboro Piedmont Triad area. So I kind of had an idea who it is, and it is a member of the Alabama gang, Mr. Donnie Allison. So here you see a 91 Pro Set signed by Donnie, a 91 Tracks. He's working with Joe Nemechek's Bush Series team at the time, and a 1998 Max 10th Anniversary. So those turned out really well, so thank you, Mr. Allison. Appreciate that. I have to get these off to the side and sleeved up and put into my album. Next up on the Mail Day agenda, I got my order in from Steel City Collectibles, and this will be some stuff I'll be ripping soon. So I got a hobby box of 2016 Torque, so three autos and two MIMS per box on average, so a nice little box there. I did get a 2019 Smackdown Live hobby box, so two hits per box, one autograph guaranteed, so look forward to doing that one. And then, uh, like I talked about, another hobby box of 2016 certified, two autos and two MIMS per box on average, so we'll just stack those up real neat over there in the corner, and they'll kind of tease us for the next week or so. So, <clears throat> anyway, excuse me, as I said, Saturday, or you guys knew Saturday, I was going out to uh, to some flea markets and antique stores, got a lot of neat stuff, so uh, if you remember the repack packages that the one guy had in the flea market, I got another Red Sox, it's got rookies, stars, and autograph game used. So I'm excited to see what's in this pack whenever we get around to opening it. And then I've got a random just baseball one. It says game used, wax pack, stars, rookies, and autographs. So it's just something that uh, someone has put together to resell. Kind of creative. I really like the idea behind that. And I feel I get my money's worth. Next up, I got this book that I've never seen before. It's called uh, The Cars of the King, Richard Petty. And it chronicles through the years, and I'll open this up, and it'll be a little difficult for you guys to see it. It's got uh, basically all the cars that he ran from 1958 to 1992. Gives real detailed accounts of all the vehicles, plus some highlights of each NASCAR season. Uh, next up, I got this. Let me peel the sticker off of it here. I can't remember if I picked this one up at the Antique Mall or the Flea Market. I think this was actually in the Flea Market, but it's by Road Champs, and we've seen some of their stuff here before. But it is the Jeff Gordon Hauler. I got a pretty good deal on that. And there you see some of the other products that they have. The different haulers and cars and just other fun little things. We'll just stand that up there in the back. And you're going to hear some bags rattling around here. So I'm going to have, uh, and that one kind of took a crash, but is what it is. <coughs> so I went to a flea market, antique store, whatever you want to call it, in Gas City, Indiana. There is a small dirt track there. I've been to this flea market before and uh, may not go back to it because I asked the guy about some cards there. And he literally had a two-row shoebox of cards and wanted two hundred dollars for him. The cards in them were way over, excuse me, way overpriced. He had a 1996 Upper Deck Jeff Gordon C1 insert card that's been selling on eBay for two dollars, and he wanted forty dollars for it. So he's, you know, I told him no thank you, but I did buy a few die casts. So I found this really cool Ken Schrader M&Ms Pontiac. Very nice, that black and white paint job. 
I found this uh, limited trackside edition Ted Musgrave. Not a whole lot of uh, die cast of the 55 car out. There's is by Fun Stuff. Not a whole lot of die cast of that particular car out there. Seen this one, Racing Champions, Joe Nemechek. This is his Bush Series Championship year. The only thing there it is, well, it says Lozitos on the back deck. Lid. He used to carry run Lozitos under the uh, number there, Lozitos Pharmacy. We have 1990 champion Chuck Bown, Bush Series. Of course, that car was from about 91 or 92. And I'd never seen this one before, and if I have, um, then I just overlooked it. But I thought, too, that it was the car 94. I thought this was just going to be a regular Brickyard 400 inaugural race die cast. But it's actually Jeff Gordon race winner. How cool is that? Of course, it's got the regular placard or whatever you want to call it on the back. But it's the inaugural race winner. So I was excited to get that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And the rest of this is just going to be some... Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna put the big die cast out here. I thought I had shown this. And I'm not going to take it out of the box just because of space. But it's a 124 scale. And it was the first Bush race uh, when they went from the Sportsman to the Bush Late Model Sportsman series. And it became a national touring series. Dale Earnhardt won the first race in this Pontiac Ventura. This is 124 scale. I may get it out in another video. Just space limitations today have really uh, kept it down. So some other die cast I got. The test car for Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he was driving for Hendrick Motors. Well, he was still driving for DEI at the time, but that was the test in Atlanta of 2007. Got this nice 1996 Jeff Gordon. And look, it still has Coca-Cola on the deck lid. So that's really, I don't want to say rare, I don't like using that term, but it's unique. Got a nice Kevin Harvick action, 164th. like the fact that it does have the rookie stripes on the back. Give you guys an overhead view of the 29 car. Got another 29 car from Harvick's rookie campaign. The AOL car, if I remember correctly, he ran this car in the All-Star race and was involved in that first lap crash with half the field when it started raining. Uh, Lifetime Series winner circle, Jeff Gordon. Then I have another Lifetime Winner Series, Jeff Gordon here. Different. Uh, that one's from 96. Don't have too many. I don't think I have any die cast of this guy. But we have Brendan Gaughan back when he drove that Jasper Penske, whoever owned the car this year, number 77. <coughs> he had a best finish of fourth at Talladega. Then I got one of Dale Jr.'s early Bush Series cars, the Gargoyles car. We'll zoom in there real closely. Very nice. Always liked action. I always thought they had some really, really good products. And we got one... <coughs> Excuse me. We're having some asthma issues here um got more die cast here and these were all 75 cents a piece so i couldn't pass them up so we got a 1991 darlington heinz southern 500 car i'm just going to sit these off to the side because we are running out of room here and a lot of these are going to be the track cars from 91 and 92 so here's one from martinsville of course the nose says or the hood says uh 40 or 45 years and the trunk lid says uh, Martinsville. And the trunk actually said, and I'll read it off air, it says World's Finest Half Mile. Of course, they had a lot of nice landscaping over the years at Martinsville. Here's Rodney Combs when he drove the Evinrude Pontiac for the Mueller Brothers. That would have been in a 1989 season. Jim Sauter was known to drive that car a lot. And I have a Watkins Glen car. I believe this is from, yeah, 92. Watkins Glen, home of American Road Racing. We have a Bobby Hillen Jr. Uh, this is when he drove relief for Davey Allison in 1992 at Talladega. And it does say Bobby Hillen on the roof, which is weird because I believe during the race it did say Davey Allison. But Davey started the race and got points. We have a 92 Sears Point. 
Sears Point International Raceway. It's painted up a lot like Ken Bouchard's 1988 car, the car 10 that he ran for Rookie of the Year. We have a Motorcraft 500 from 1992. Bristol, this is the August race, 1992. That would have been the first race on the concrete surface. Of course, that was won by Daryl Waltrip. Next up is 1992 Peak 500 at Dover. That race was won by Ricky Rudd. Looks like they just took the Kyle Petty Peak car, didn't put numbers on it, and... Wrote Dover Downs on the side, and we'll call it a promo car. Next up is the Budweiser 500 at Dover from 1992. This was a Harry Gant victory. One of two victories that Harry had in 92. And both of them were fuel mileage wins. A lot of people got mad about that, but at the end of the day, he was the first one to finish the distance, so that meant he was the winner. The last couple cars here we have from Pocono 92 Champion Spark Plug 500. Is that the June race? I can't remember who won. Alan Kowicki won this race. Because DW won the... No, DW didn't win the... Or did he win this fall race? I can't remember. But nonetheless, in the last one, we have a Rob Moroso. And I thought this one was unique because it has that logo on it. Not this red 51 car. Just this plain one, which means it's an earlier run. And I noticed that the uh, paint job was a little different. has the silver number. So there's always variations in these cars that you can find. <coughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. We may go, Let's go ahead and show that Earnhardt Ventura. We got, we got time. We got all the time we need here. We, we run this channel and nobody's going to kick us off. So let's go ahead and clear these out. Had a lot of fun picking these up all sorts of all sorts of price points on these but they were all super good deals i couldn't pass any of them up we'll leave those ones up for now because those are some of the more unique ones and i've actually got less bags than what i had to start with so let's go ahead and take this earnhardt ventura out of the box And give it a good close inspection. So there it is, the 164 scale 1979 Pontiac Ventura of Dale Earnhardt. How would you like to have that thing in your rear view mirror? Very, very nice. It's the jeans machine. And many people are going to say, hey, well, Dale ran the, uh, the 15 car was a Ford. Well, the 15 car was a Ford in the Cup Series. Again, this is his Bush Series car, or as they called it back then, the Budweiser Late Model Sportsman Series. So this was actually a DEI car. And with the 15, they just wanted to keep the number consistent with the sponsor. So this car had no ties with the Bud Moore car, other than it shared a number and a sponsor and a driver. So uh, Action, you did a really good job here on this. Um, always like their attention to detail on things. So, one of the nicer cars I've purchased in a while. Put this one in the collection. Of course, I just, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, clean this room up. If I, I'm not going to display them. I just like having them. They're just nice little pieces to get out once in a while and look at. But this one, I really like it. Looks like it's in victory lane right there. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. The Flea Market Find series seems to be, as always, very popular because I, I see people go to different flea markets and get different things. And up here, I've been lucky enough to have a few that I can go to that have some really, really unique stuff. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll rip some cards tomorrow, but I don't know what we're going to rip just yet. So we'll, we'll find something. we got some new stuff that just came in like the, the Torque and the Certified and the SmackDown Tops. Who knows what we're going to open tomorrow, but we will open some. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for the new subs. Thanks for the comments, the likes, etc., etc. Really do appreciate it. So we will see you again tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.